Yes, everybody, Russ on the West End Network. Hope you are all safe and well. It might be damp out there. You might be putting the heat thing, might be putting the heating on soon, but we're going to warm you up with some West Ham news. It's Hammers Headlines and Associated with the KUMB, KUMB.com boys. I think I've been know how to say it after saying it was so fucking long. Um, a few stories, and it's a bit like a compilation album, it seems, and that's what I call transfer rumours. you see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> So, according to Spanish media news outlet, my favourite media news outlet, Fajuges, West Ham are apparently interested in Hoffenheim's Adam Plosek. He's at Hoffenheim now. Obviously, we were linked to him when he was at Sparta Prague. We were linked to him when he was at Bayer Leverkusen. And now we're linked to him. Now he's at Hoffenheim. He scored three and seven so far for Hoffenheim, including playing in the scoring in the Europa League. Obviously, um, Czech Republic uh, striker. And someone we've been proverbially linked with for four years, maybe. Um, now, obviously, he moved from Bayer Leverkusen to Hoffenheim in the summer. Um, but apparently, West Ham um, still hold an interest in Adam. Um, although, you know, Hoffenheim are going to be unlikely to, you know, or well, likely to be reluctant in moving on because his contract doesn't run out until 2029, so they very much hold the cards. But obviously, with Antonio and Danny Ings potentially both leaving the, leaving the club in next summer, and uh, you know a whole new forward line really need, or, or at least two, um, maybe Adam could be a potential. You know, he's obviously he's a player we've been linked to proverbially, um, and he's hitting a bit of form now. But Hoffenheim by Leverkusen, he was in and out. He got injured. Didn't really, I mean, you look at who was around at the time, Bonifacy as well. He was still, he was banging in the goals and obviously he got injured and then Adam got injured pretty much at the same time when you would assumed he would have probably stepped up. But uh, yeah, Adam Losek apparently being linked. Maybe Daniel Kudrinski could play the check card. Uh, maybe now there's obviously no issues because the first one there was, you know, not issues, but, you know, Sparta Prague, they were, they were DK's club. Yeah, maybe he'll play that card and maybe you might see him in a cloud and blue shirt. Finally, who knows? And a, another player that apparently we still hold an interest in is the AC Milan England International Tamori, the 26 year old England International. Some we've been looking at, um, and someone, particularly England fans, want to be having a, a, a prolonged run in the England side, in the England setup. But according to Milan Live, West Ham still holding interest in the uh, 26-year-old centre-half. And apparently his, his, his move out of AC Milan is inevitable, uh, according to the report. Not just us, but apparently uh, Newcastle, Fulham and Villa are all keeping tabs on him. Uh, the next few months could be quite decisive. He's currently uh, priced at around £25 million. Um, and apparently it's he's uh, he's uh, the club are under pressure maybe to move him on because he's, he's had a few mistakes. So that's what you want. You want to bring in a defender who's just made loads of mistakes. Um, and Milan could decide to sell him next summer. Obviously, we apparently had talks with AC Milan in the summer for him. Um, but those obviously didn't come to fruition. And instead, we got Max Kilman and Jean-Claire Dodibo. Uh, obviously, um, Julian Lopetegui still has uh, Konstantinos Maropanos um, at his disposal as well. And that's all three. So it's going to be fascinating to see what happens. Um, you know, we've done all right when we brought Chelsea players in recent, in recent years. You know, Zuma, Emerson have both performed. Um, but obviously, we'll have to wait until next summer. Um, the 26 year old is obviously, obviously not only Serie A games, but Premier League proven. He's got Champions League experience, Europa League experience, international experience, all under his belt. And yeah, interesting, interesting to see whether it is to bring in that third man, maybe. And you have three top class uh, centre arts. Madden Panos, I don't think he's that. I wouldn't say he's top class, um, but he's he's a good centre half. But with Someone like Tamori, Kilman, Dodabo, that is a squad. That's a, that's a back three squad you're assembling there. 
And could it be three rumours, old rumours in three, as West Ham apparently reported to be renewing their interest in Fenerbahce's versatile defender, Jaden Ostelvod, um, ahead of the January transfer window. According to reports from Turkish media, the 23-year-old Dutch player was obviously a summer target for West Ham, but the club were unable to secure his signing. Fenerbahce are hesitant to sell, obviously, having uh, old Ferdi. Uh, Kadiguru, um, he went to Brighton, absolute steal for Brighton, um, and that could be proving to be a stumbling block. However, West Ham apparently seem to be prepared to resurrect their interest in the player. Um, uh, Ferdy was on our radar as well over the summer um, with reports that Tim Stardin actually initiated discussions with the players' representatives, but obviously nothing happened. Osterwald is a, a different kettle of fish. Um, his ability to play Centre half and also left back uh, could be a useful option for West Ham, particularly when we seem to be lacking in that left hand side options in terms of that that left back. Yeah, you know, yes, you can put Aaron Wambasaka there, but I think then that's a detriment to the right hand side. So by bringing in a a left back, it could be a a nice potential. Also, someone who's left footed as well. So at the moment, obviously Max has Kilman's played every minute of. Uh, the Julian Lopetegui era so far in the, sort of the, the main game, obviously not as pre-seasons. Um, but an injury to him could leave us a bit short on that naturally left-sided um, in the centre-half spot. So maybe someone like Jaden coming in could be useful twofold, not only to add a left-hand side. Obviously, we our left-hand side replacement would have been uh, Ogbonna, for example. But obviously, he's no longer here. He's at Watford. Um, it's obviously... Aaron Cresswell is likely to be leaving the club in the summer as well. So it could be a very shrewd bit of business. I really wanted Jaden in the summer, to be honest. Um, but we might potentially have to wait to the winter. Um, he's been a key player for Fenerbahce this season. He's featured in all seven games in the Super League. Um, and uh, Jose Marino is reportedly very reluctant to lose another um, essential player following recent departures. Also, as a little sort of side note, um, and again, not necessarily to do with um, to do with the actual uh, <laughs> the, the transfer rumours, but obviously a player we were linked with was Joel Matip. Now, Joel Matip has preferred to retire than play for West Ham, it seems. Uh, he's confirmed his retirement uh, from football a matter of weeks after talks with West Ham didn't lead to a deal with the 27 capped Cameroon International announced on his Instagram post uh, two days ago that he has decided to hang his boots up following his departure from Liverpool at the end of the season. Um, so he'd rather retire than play for West Ham. Lovely. Cheers. Uh, and that's it, my friends. So take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble, keep the faith. And come on, you bloody irons. Much love. Bye-bye.